What's up, guys? It is currently 1.07 a.m. out here in Maryland. Better go to bed. Gonna get a full three hours of sleep. We gotta wake up at around 4. We've got a flight out to Tampa, Florida at 7 a.m. tomorrow. It'll be interesting with the, the virus going on, but uh, hopefully we should uh, be good and uh, get down there. So I hope you guys enjoy... Uh, I guess this will be Florida episode one. See you guys in the morning. Okay, guys. It's uh, 5.08 a.m. We are going to the airport right now. So it uh, should be pretty interesting. Make sure, to, make sure to stay tuned. See you guys there. At the airport right now. About to board the plane. See you on there. Object computers and portable electronic devices of similar size must also be stored at this time if you wish to use them after takeoff. Yeah. Finally, to ensure the health and safety of everyone on board, we kindly ask that you. Okay guys, as you can see, we made it down to Florida at uh, the beautiful new house. Um, and we are heading off to Lake Griffin right now. We're gonna be fishing at the uh, little marina. It's the middle of the day, it's super hot out. I don't think we're gonna catch anything, but uh, it's always worth a try down here in Florida. So let's get to it. Hey, what's up guys? So to the start of this video, I haven't had much success down here at the marina. I've seen some fish, but uh, nothing really all that special. Haven't caught much. Um, so I decided to come early in the morning out here and I'm seeing a lot of action. Um, I'm gonna lip, rig up a, a live bluegill right now. And then I'm gonna fish with uh, top water with my bait caster. So hopefully we finally get into some big uh, Lake Griffin bass out here and uh, it'll be a good morning. So see you there. Step one is to uh, catch the bluegill. Just using a small piece of soft plastic, the bluegill here are super, super aggressive. So this should not be too difficult. And there we go. Little perfect sized bluegill for bait. I'm going to rig it up on this stinger rod right here. And uh, I'll rig up something on my bait caster. And uh, I'm much more excited to be out here this morning. I wanted to get out a little bit earlier, but the golf cart wasn't charged, so I had to take the car. Holy sh! It's a big gar. He's on it. The gar got my bait. The gar has my bait. Big, giant gar. Holy, holy crap! A giant gar has my bait right now. Guys, giant gar just had my bait. Oh my gosh. I'm talking giant gar. One of the longest fish I've personally ever seen. He had my bait. But, um, the weight. The weight. The weight, the weight, the weight, the weight. Let me tell you. I've seen some Florida gar before. I have never seen a gar that big. Oh, that's 
car right there. That's like three times as small as my last, the one I saw, but he will definitely eat this bluegill. I know. In Maryland, we do a lot of uh, snakehead fishing, and uh, yeah, you gotta have a really good eye to see them because they blend in so well. So, yeah, they're uh, invasive from um, Japan. And uh, they are, uh, oh, he took it. Now I gotta let him eat it. I don't know, this guy's a little small. I don't know if uh, I'm gonna be able to get him. This sh should be interesting. Two guys catching four guys pulling. Mm -hmm. Wow. That was great. He dropped it. It's definitely dead now. He's got it. I'm pretty sure I've got a bowfin on. Bowfin on. Bowfin on, baby. Bowfin on. Let's go. Sight fishing for bowfin. Woo! -wee. Knew if I stayed out here, I'd get something. And these are the guys I've been seeing blow up all day, I'm pretty sure. Woo, they fight good. How to me of snakehead. Let's try to land this bad boy. I don't want to flip him. But I might have to. Oh yeah, we can flip him. Please don't break. Damn it. Exactly what I was worried about. Well, oh, I've got a gar on. I have a gar on, what is happening out here? Bait is half across the pond right now. Line just snapped. My line just snapped. And now I watch my gar swim away. Oh my god! Okay guys, I'm gonna go over uh, kind of what just happened there. I, I, I really don't even know what to say, to be quite honest. Um, well, you got a live look at my very, uh, sorry, I think I see another gar. My very uh, stupid and careless fishing mistakes that I just made right there. Um, very dumb. Mistakes that I shouldn't be making. But they happened, and I, I can't really do anything about it. So, let's uh, kind of give a rundown of what just happened there. So, I'd caught a really, really small bluegill, and uh, I thought it was the perfect bait. So I went over here. Well, I casted my, uh, my gar cut bait back out, and I went over here, because... This is where the action has been all day, right over here in this little, in this little cove right here. 
and I'm just messing around with the uh, live bluegill and I noticed something off the uh, the corner of my eye, something that looks a little bit different. I thought it was a big bass at first. It wasn't a bass. It was a uh, smaller bowfin. I'd say about uh, four or five pounds. And uh, boy, this thing is aggressive. So I tossed my bait there. He attacks the bobber first. Um, so I know he's hungry. And then I drag the, uh, the uh, live bluegill right by him. He munches it as uh, he should. And um, so next comes the problem where I have to land the fish. And let me show you why it's kind of difficult to land a fish here. And as you can see, I'm fishing this dock. It doesn't look that high up, but it's pretty high up. It's about uh, four feet off the, uh, the ground. So I thought at first, well, maybe I can flip him. Well, my first thought was actually, I'm gonna try to get him over to the boat ramp, but that's kind of a problem when there's a bridge there like that. So my next thought was, well, maybe I can flip him. And I looked and attempted and it was like, that probably isn't gonna work. And uh, then I decided to do the worst thing ever, which is grab the line. You never wanna do that. It almost always ends bad. I probably would have actually been able to flip him if I did it right, but I grabbed the line for some reason and uh, it literally just snapped right away. It's 17 pound uh, fluoro I had on, but um, yeah, you, you just can't grab the line like that. And he snapped and flew back in. So then I was all depressed. Well, then I noticed down there where my gar rod is, my bobber is halfway across the pond and is uh, booking it. So I run over here and uh, me, fresh off of watching a gar fishing video, decided to set the hook as hard as I possibly could without reeling in a lot of the slack. Well, it turns out some of the line must have been wrapped around the reel because when I went to set the hook, the line just snapped immediately. I'm using like 30 pound braid, so it's understandable why it snapped so quick. But uh, yeah, there goes my gar. And uh, he was just swimming away um, into oblivion there. So I lost two fish that I've been fishing for for all morning in uh, less than five minutes. I'm especially mad about the bowfin. Um, that's a fish I really, really wanted to catch. Um, you know, they're closely related to snakehead and uh, it would have been really cool to catch one. Definitely a bucket list fish along with the gar, but uh, the bowfin, wow, what a, what a great fight. Very, very similar to snakehead, but geez, these fish are much more aggressive than a northern snakehead is. Um, I was very, very surprised about that. Um, what a great fight though. I'm still looking up to, looking to hook up with a gar but uh first i've got to catch more bluegill to use as cut bait and live bait talking pretty fast because i'm still kind of you know in shock about what just happened um i'd say luckily it isn't wasn't a 10 pound bass that i lost but i don't know i don't know what i'd feel worse about uh so it just sucks but um i'm gonna hurry up and get my lines back out in the water because you uh you never know what can show up next back here so stay tuned hopefully i'll have a fish for you guys soon well guys i hope you enjoyed i'm probably gonna call this the search for the gar part one or something because that's what it feels like we've got a lot more days down here in florida though and i'm not leaving until i catch a gar um i don't know if i'm gonna get another bowfin that um that bowfin was a gift and uh i kind of blew it there but it's oh well um so just be on the lookout for the next video. I hope you enjoy this one. And uh, I'll see you next time on Bass Plates Fishing. See you guys.